Longtime viewer and subscriber of the channel, Ross Parker, left me this comment a few months ago in a video I made. It reads, Beyond thrilled to see you grow to being a pitch side reporter at a Champions League game. Long way off from begging to get a look around Bayview. Ross has been supporting the channel for a really, really long time, so a huge thank you to him and all the people who have been here um, for a while too. He knows through my journey how crazy it's been that I used to beg for a look inside stadiums like Bayview and still do, to be honest. I still go through um, to small and non-league clubs asking to look inside their stadium. Um, but I've gone from there to being a pitch side reporter in the Champions League all within the space of a couple of years. And that pitch side reporter Champions League game was in the year of 2022. And what a crazy, hectic year it has been. In this video, we're gonna be looking through and talking through some of my best moments of 2022. From being pitch side at the Champions League at Anfield to see the team I support against a team that I've covered more than any probably, against Rangers obviously in the Champions League, to getting my plaque which is up there behind me, to being at multiple trophy days throughout the season and just loads more good things that have happened to me on this channel. I should be at a game today. It's currently Boxing Day. I had plans. I'm snowed in. Um, but I have been thinking about doing a video in relation to Ross's comment for a while. So in this video, we're going to be tracking my progress through the year, seeing how I've got on and um, talking through some of the best moments. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. The year began for me with a game in the North East. It was Blythe Spartans against Gateshead in the National League North. That was my first video of the year, the insane North East derby you've never heard of. And it was so, so much passion with the fans. It was great to get back out there in the new year after what was a crazy vlogmas the month before in um, December 2021. But yeah, absolutely sensational. I really, really loved my time at Blythe before going on to make a video where again, I was begging to look inside of non-league clubs. Some I got into, some I didn't, like Bo Ness, I didn't get in there when I visited an entire football pyramid in 24 hours. They were some of my early favorites, those videos from this year specifically, but let's scroll through the channel now and take a look through how we've got on this year. So as you can see there, look, there it is, the Blythe Spartans game. Um, just on screen right now. And as we move through, look, we went to see Middlesbrough. We did a few games down in England and videos down in England. Look, we saw Liverpool play as well. But as we move through, look, oh, what about when Rafa got sacked? Um, I don't know who we are anymore, the Everton fans, but really, really at a loss for words around then. It was a crazy time for Everton. Um, I was on a bit of a fitness kick around then. I did my football stadium calorie challenge, um, which I wish more of you would have seen. Um, however, yeah, we, we move on, we move forward. Um, fans stole my camera in Paisley. Um, but let's keep moving up through. Arbroath, there we go. We spoke earlier about um, things going wrong for me. I drove all the way to Arbroath, got there, and the game got cancelled. But I had a fantastic look around anyway and made a good video out of it. Interviewed Dick, Annie and Campbell, the management duo there of our broth. It was time for the old firm where I interviewed Juddy for a game, uh, for a video rather, and I moved on to the Edinburgh Derby. Went to my first ever Edinburgh Derby in 2022 as well. So that was an amazing game uh, or an amazing atmosphere rather, a fantastic occasion to be at. The game itself wasn't great. It was nil-nil, but hopefully I can get to one very, very soon. There are two coming up, one in the cup, one in the league. Moving on, we saw Sunderland play. We went to the graffiti ground. Talking about derbies, I might do a tier list derbies video ranking Scotland's best derbies. And I went to, as you can see, A United against Kilmarnock. A phenomenal atmosphere that day as well between two teams who absolutely hate each other, the fan bases. It is such a great derby. And we're getting into where the channel, I mean, it was doing really well at that point. Don't get me wrong. And I love the support that everyone was giving me. But if we move up through the uh, through the year here and we get to Rangers v Dortmund this is when things really started popping we had the Rangers Europa League run of course and again Dortmund that game was huge 232,000 views look at that wow um, just after the Hib Stadium tour there then we went to Airdrie and then it was my first foreign football vlog in two years as we went from Scotland to Lisbon it didn't all go to plan 
Um, as you may know if you'd have already seen that video, which 24,000 of you have, so thank you. Moving on, my biggest video of that trip to Portugal, actually no, it was my second biggest video on that trip to Portugal, was the, um, the derby match between Porto and Sporting. They don't like each other, those two. It's the Dragoas against the Leoas, I think. Dragons versus Lions. Um, big derby, that one between two of the most successful teams in the country. Moving on through that fantastic um, like couple of weeks I had there. There. The Braga video just did amazing. Look at that, 323,000 people have seen that one, um, as well as like a few others that I made out there too. Coming back, Rangers drew Braga. How many times have I covered Rangers? I just went out and covered Braga like I should. Even saw them play against Monaco out there too. And then they drew Rangers, and so I interviewed fans about that. Moving on up there, look, there's my first game back in England after... Um, Portugal was the historic heated Cumbrian derby between Barrow and Carlisle. Again, another amazing atmosphere in that derby. Um, I went to see Scotland play for the first time against Poland there, as you can see. And I embarrassed myself during a halftime crossbar challenge. Then got some really big success in uh, in Yorkshire with a few videos. Everyone hates dirty leads, find out why. The Rotherham video and the Bradford videos as well both did really, really well before I went to my first ever Old Firm Derby. Just check out these clips from the Old Firm Derby, which 194,000 people saw. The support that I get in Scotland is genuinely just unrivaled. So yeah, just check out this from my first ever Old Firm. What's it gonna be like when the Celtic bus turns up? Hey. Fierce. Probably a bit of shouting and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Um, aye, but the atmosphere will be good. I think that's really like the show's just start to build up and yep. just wait until 12 and then just see what happens to the pitch. But yeah, back at this moment, one of the biggest games in world football, Rangers v Celtic. I cannot believe I'm actually here. What an atmosphere so far. The players are not even out yet, they've just finished their warm up, but the atmosphere in here already is so fierce. So let's keep scrolling through, let's move on. After the old firm, I obviously did the non-league challenge. 82,000 people saw that one as well. Absolutely insane. We saw Bonnie Rig Rose lift the Lowland League. That was honestly one of the best days I've ever had filming for YouTube. I've been such a big supporter of the Lowland League. I absolutely love it. I think it's so underrated. There's so many talking points in it, from the B teams to Open Goal Broom Hill to the pathway to the SPFL to teams like Gretna and Gala Ferry Dean Rovers and these amazingly named teams like Civil Service Strollers. The tip, the fact that there's 19 teams in the uh, in the league, not 18 or 20. There's so many talking points within the Lola League it is really really an exceptional league it really is but yes Bonnie Rig Rose I went to see them lift the Lola League trophy they're sadly not doing too well this year in League 2 but moving on look at that this is this was a phenomenal period for me this is around the time that I got that thing up there I got my plaque around this time so I met Ange Postacoglu in the director's box for Celtic B the Rangers be again in the Lowland League. The Lowland League again gives you so many good opportunities if you go out there and look for them. And that was one of them. I absolutely loved that day. I was in like the director's box and with all the big names and that, like it, it felt mad being there, honestly, myself. Um, bit of imposter syndrome being in there, I'll be honest. But it was fantastic to be there. Moving on, look at that. Another huge Rangers video there. 121,000 views as Rangers beat Braga in the quarter-final of the Europa League. Special things were happening at Ibrox around then, of course. And then moving on, I went to Liverpool versus Man City in the FA Cup semi-final, and I think it was around that day, or it may have been the Port Vale v Bristol's, uh, not City, Rovers day. I think I said City during that video as well, which a few fans were annoyed about. But um, yeah, it was during that Port Vale game, or maybe the day or two after that, I hit 100k. So... Absolutely phenomenal. Came back up to Scotland after spending a few days with mates down south. Um, saw another trophy day. Or two trophy days in a row. Look at that. We had Kilmarnock and we had Kelty Hearts. I mean, last season was just phenomenal. I think the only trophy day I didn't go to out of like the top five leagues was obviously the Highland League. Um, I didn't go to the trophy day there. And League One, which I think Cove won. So Fraser and Cove I missed out on. But I went to Lowland League. 
Bonnie Rig Rose, I went to Kelty in League Two, I went to Kilmarnock in the Championship, and moving on, I also went to Celtic, which is a little bit later on. I went to an old firm derby at Celtic as well. Just your, your ears come out ringing after those games. Before we move on, and as you can see, get up to um, the sort of Celtic uh, trophy day there. Look at that, look at the run of videos we had in and around there. We had Rangers with, uh, beating Leipzig in the Europa League semi. We went to the Madrid derby. We went to the stadium tour of the Wanda Metropolitano. Then I saw Real Madrid play as well um, at home against, who did they play? Levante, who were bottom, and it cost me... I won't even tell you how much it costs. Look, as you can see, you won't believe how much this cost me. And only 20,000 of you have watched it, so get on there and uh, let me recoup some of that money that I lost that day. Um, we then did the road to Seville, um, and obviously Celtic lifting their, their league title, and then um, the Europa League final, which didn't go to plan for Rangers, obviously. Went to the Scottish Cup final. We went to the Scottish Premiership playoff final between St. Johnston and Inverness. Then we went to the Scottish Amateur Cup final at Hampden Park, which was just crazy. And then we come into the summer. So it was during the summer that we'd obviously just come off the back of an amazing season, had some fantastic growth, got my plaque, had all their massive Celtic and Rangers videos. We went to see Killy lift their league title, Bonnie Rig Rose, Kelty Hearts. But just check this video out. This probably personifies Scottish football more than anything for me. This is Orkin Let Tolbert winning the amateur, uh, not the amateur cup, the junior cup final, sorry, against Yoka at Rugby Park. I get so much support from people in Scotland and none more so than like non-league clubs who want to show off how big their fan base is to the world that don't often get the chance to, what with like the media outlets covering Celtic and Rangers so much. And I'm guilty of that as well. I cover Rangers and Celtic. I have to pay my bills. They do the big numbers as you've seen. But just check this out from Orkin Lecht Tolbert. Scottish fans, take a bow. It's lovely to be here with my boy for his first Scottish Cup final game. Yeah. And I hope oh, I'll let Talbot won. Do you think Talbot are going to win? Is Talbot going to win? Yes. We have a flag. Hey, there we go. You're saying 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. What do you reckon? 3-0 to Talbot. 3-1. And 3-1. Three, and, three, one. And, and you were telling me that there's somebody in the Amazon. Yeah, there's a, 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 an Ockley Talbot fan who actually is in the Amazon at the moment and he's watching the game on a tablet. This is a world to us. Yeah. This is Talbot. I'm from Glasgow. This is like a Rangers and Celtic match to me. Yeah, this is big. Would you rather Talbot win the cup today or Rangers win the league next season? Oh, 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 for my boy, for my Talbot boy, since he's from Orton Lake, Talbot oh, won the cup. There we go. During the summer in the UK, there's obviously no football on, so I went to Ireland, who play a summer season. I went to the Dublin Derby. That was honestly amazing. I had such a great day. I had a few Guinnesses when I uh, when I landed. I had a nap during the afternoon, and then went to the game in the evening. Look at that Guinness nap game. Perfect, isn't it? And then we went to UCD. We went to all the stadiums in Dublin. And then probably one of my favourite non-match day videos I've ever filmed was, I've always wanted to go to Belfast and see the walls, right? The, uh, the peace walls and stuff. And to investigate that and look at why the Irish FA split 
and looking into the history of Ireland and Northern Ireland as well. Um, I really, really enjoyed filming that video. I had some fantastic feedback as well because doing it, I was like, oh, like, what do you say? Especially being in Scotland, you tend not to like go into the social aspects of the football teams too much. Um, but when you're investigating the football of Ireland, like, it's so prevalent in the story and that it's split. And like, I was, I was investigating that specific story itself. So um, I did say during the video, like, I hope I'm not. Um, saying the wrong thing in any situation because I know to a lot of people it's still a very very sensitive subject and it wasn't too long ago that there was fighting and the troubles and stuff so um, to get the feedback that I did in that video was amazing but I had a great time filming it too we also went to every stadium in Northern Ireland we went to the amazing Oval Glen Torrens ground we went to an abandoned stadium out there we went to Sligo we went to Derry or London Derry depending on um on uh, where you fall on that, but we went to see Derry City FC play, of course, um, which was just phenomenal. Then we came back to England, we did some more videos, we went to Man United's old long gone stadiums, we jumped off the roof at Spurs, and then the 22-23 season began with, I think probably the first competitive game of that season, if you don't count the Irish ones, was the Motherwell Sligo video. The less said about that, the better, of course. Um, but then we went on to see Spurs lift a trophy at Ibrox, which was just phenomenal. And then we got Cy Ferry on the video for the first time when we went to see Calden Beef beat Open Goldbroom Hill, again in the Lowland League. Look at that, 44,000 views on a, on a Calden Beef v Open Gold Broom Hill video. Say what you want about the lads at Open Gold Broom Hill. I know they take some flack um, when they go to away grounds and stuff, but I mean, they're doing the numbers for like videos when I go and see them and their documentaries are just fantastic as well. And they're bringing, bringing eyeballs to um, the league that really need it. We interviewed Fraser Murray as well. What a great guy um, down at Killy. Um, we went to see Rangers in the first game of the Premiership as they took over Livingston. We saw Dundee United's fantastic win against AZ Alkmaar. Unfortunately, they lost the second leg, didn't they? Um, but let's move through. Let's crack on. More European games at Ibrox. They reached the Champions League group stage, of course. So why does this have such a sort of depressing reputation in the media? Is this one of the nicer cities of, uh, of yeah. the Netherlands, would you say? Like picturesque, look at that, wow. We all have boats. For anybody from Britain who's yeah. watching this, why should they come and watch football in the Netherlands? Uh, it's attacking football, it's attractive football. I think there's a lot of potential in our, in our uh, clubs. And I think we have the players that will, will be the big stars in a few years. In the future. Yeah. And you can have beers at your seat as well. And you can have beers at your seat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Too bad for you guys. I know. <laughs> Honestly, this is mad being here right now. Look at that EVB09, the yellow wall. This is insane. To be here witnessing this right now is literally bucket list stuff. This is one of like four or five grounds in the world that I'd like to come to. And here we are right now. Look at that yellow wall. Shortly after that trip that I came back to the UK and sadly obviously Queen Elizabeth II passed away so um, there was obviously a lot going on around that especially with the football was cancelled and um, this season I have had so much cancelled I think I've had more cancelled in this season already than I did in the whole of last season but with the weather it's been so much bad weather especially the last couple of months the Queen the period where she died I had loads of cool stuff planned collaborations with other youtubers as well that went down the pan and we haven't been able to rearrange yet so um, yeah it's been a tough season but it was around that time that I did my um, non-league Man City video as well. That was a really fun one to film. And also um, the Oldham Athletic video. I had fun filming that one. We did more in England. I uploaded a German video there. And here we go. Here it is. One of my proudest moments of YouTube being pitch side at Anfield for the Champions League. Just check this out. Liverpool v Rangers in the Champions League could be the best game that I've ever, ever been to. Unbelievable support, isn't it? <laughs> Doing a great job. 
great job. What a fantastic day. Oppo, thank you so much for this opportunity. Wow, look at that from Rangers for the pyro. Down the middle, and it's Liverpool 2, Rangers 0. I actually had an amazing week that week and I didn't just go to Rangers v Liverpool or Liverpool v Rangers at Anfield but I then went to FC Edinburgh as you can see now. I then went to Open Goal Broom Hill v Cali Braves. I went to Celtic versus St Johnston. On the same day as that I went to Dundee United Aberdeen in the new firm and then we went to Killy v Hearts. Like what a run of videos that was. I think that was one, two, three, four, five, six videos in seven days. Rangers v Liverpool, Edinburgh City or FC Edinburgh. Open goal, Celtic, Dundee United, Hearts at Killy. It was just phenomenal, honestly. That was just a week that dreams were made of in terms of content, just getting stuff out there. The videos did really well as well. So again, a huge thank you for all the support on those. Moving up, we went to the other Liverpool v Rangers game. We won at Ibrox, the 7-1. Um, that's sitting on almost 100k views as well. We then went down to England for a little bit. We did the rise and fall of the Midlands, a real deep dive into the history of the Midlands there. A 45 minute video, a huge thanks again to everyone who's watched that one too. Um, and then moving on, we went to Wales, did our first ever Welsh match day vlog. We saw the New Saints play, who are the best team in Wales, but they play just in England over the border. We did a Wrexham video, we went to The Rock again, another video that's done really, really well. So um, a huge thank you for that. And then it was getting towards the end of Geo's tenure. We went to see St. Johnston against Rangers. Um, they beat Rangers that day. We went to oh, the Limbs at Falkirk v Dunfermline were just phenomenal as well, weren't they? I'll overlay a few of these things as, as I talk about them now. We went back to Portugal for a bit of winter sun. Um, went to see Benfica play finally at their stadium. That means I've now completed the Tres Grandes, the big three in Portugal. The World Cup was on, so I didn't upload a huge amount during those early stages. People were all just watching the actual football. But then we came back and we went to see lower league European football between Kelty Hearts and Linfield. We interviewed a few Scottish fans about England crashing out of the World Cup, which was funny. And then we move up to sort of the more present day now, where we've been to see Northampton, Wrexham and Air United and Dumbarton in recent weeks in some more lower league football games. I couldn't have that without you guys. I couldn't have this. This is a little um, commemorative Kelty Hearts um, badge to like say that they got promoted. I've got my um, my Vicente Calder on there. I've got my Barcelona Stadium, which I filmed years ago now. That's my old GoPro I'm currently filming on the new one. I've got my signed Livingston map for all the squad as well. Look at all these scarves that you guys give me. I think that's Kelty. That's Fraserburgh, I want to say. Here's St. Mirren here. Um, Ajax, Arbroath. That's Sparta Prague, my mate Miroslav gave me that. That's Fiorentina, that's a gift I got from someone who went out there. Uh, that's uh, Windsor FC, someone from there gave me that. It's Excelsior in Holland and Dumbarton. Like These are all scarves that people have given me, either at the club or like you guys, the fans. I've got my books and stuff that you guys have seen as well. This is actually a Christmas present, believe it or not, that I just got the other day. I, I actually went to Powok in the early days of the channel out in Northern Greece, and I loved it out there. So I thought I'd ask for that for Christmas, and I got one. I hope you've all had a very good Christmas, and I wish you all a happy new year once we turn into 2023 as well. I'm sure I'll do more big videos that you'll enjoy. Um, but in the meantime, Yes, I've got more coming up uh, between Christmas and New Year. I'm just looking at my schedule now. I've got a few games up here in Scotland and a few down in England during 2023, the early stages. So, um, yeah, let's hope that the weather stays OK um, and we should be able to get to a few of them. But, yeah, again, a massive thank you for all the support. Cheers and I'll see you later.